This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hey everybody, Crystal Gamer here and welcome, welcome to my Sims channel where today we are looking at cottage living, build and buy. So this is pretty exciting, right? Nice new expansion pack. We have a lot of new stuff. I put these little telephone boots out here because I just love these. They're so cute. I don't know. They're just adorable. Only three colors, unfortunately. I wish we had a black version, but I don't know. I think that they're adorable. So I just put them up front because they're fun. So new fireplace. I put out all of the colors so that you could see we get two new fireplaces and I love them both. I really, really like this fireplace. I think it's beautiful. And actually I put, I have the, the paint on the other, the, the build section, but there's a nice, um, there's a couple of nice like brick things that I could like this one here is nice. That one there. And well, that one has the ends, but yeah. And I show those more later on, but yeah, just to give an idea, just cause it, it looks really cool. So we have an animal shed with a cow, which is adorable. And the bunny is so cute. Oh, and the bunny just went in the hole. That is so adorable. Okay, we have to get back to build by though. There were a couple of free items that, that come with this if you get it soon enough. This tree is one of them, it's a light up tree. So if we look at it at night, it's really cool. So this isn't part of the, the cottage living expansion pack, but if you get the cottage living by, I wanna say it's September 22nd, this is one of the items you get. So this and this little bicycle down here too, which I think are both great. And then there's one more item and I couldn't find it. <laughs> but I don't even remember which one it is, but these two I ran into and they're just really cool looking. So, all right, so let's move on to the items in the back. We'll get rid of that and we'll look at the items and stuff in the back. So I love this new stool. Totally loving that. I love so many of the items that we have. I think that, uh, I think that this pack is wonderful. Um, I'm really digging it. I hope you guys end up really digging it as well because I, I think it's neat. And I like that we have some, not just flowered furniture, like there's, there's a version of flowered furniture here. And then we have some, um, some flowered wallpaper that we'll see when we go into the buy section. And so you could make a place that just like flower up a place like mad and have it kind of look probably a little bit gaudy, but like someone's grandmother's house maybe. Oh, this one doesn't have a flower option. Oh, that's too bad. Kind of wanted at least one flower option. These little things are the, the things that your Sims use for cross stitching. So I just put them out just to show that. Clutter items, love clutter items. So that is, I don't know, a gnome garden gnome thing with a little mushroom and he's got the flowers and he's adorable. And then we have some new books here in different colors. You guys can get a feel for this color scheme. And this, this is a pretty nice dresser thing here too. I like this. It's a little bit different than some of the others that we have, which is nice. I like when they, they give us some stuff that's different. I hung some stuff up on the walls here. So these are some of the wall hangs we have. Really digging this. I, I love these couple of things that we have. I, I love them all actually. I mean, if it's clutter of any kind, I like it. So I, I love that we have a new clock and this is, it's just a cool looking clock. I am digging this and it's in a lot of different colors. That's really cool, isn't it? So yeah, I, I love this clock. I think that that's nice, yeah. New stove, so that's cool as well. And it's different than the other stoves we have, which is nice. I like when, when they give us stuff that's different enough, you know? So, refrigerator, this is good. I have been noticing lately though that um, the white refrigerators, at least in, in my last couple of games, they don't look white, which is annoying. They're kind of looking like off-white. They're not matching things. So that's kind of cute. That piece is kind of cute. This is adorable. This is this is a thing with a um, uh, an attachment. So this is one of those things that I'm always wishing that they would separate and make out into two pieces. But I love it. I love it. I just kind of think in in this case three like give us all three pieces separate. But I do love it. And we have some uppers with the new counters. So those are both of the types of counters and. Maybe I will quickly show to the edge counter. 
That's what the edge counter looks like. I have move objects on in case you're wondering how I do that. So different colors, same color scheme as, you know, we've been showing for everything else. So there's that. Red's kind of cool. Yeah, I like the, I'm, I'm digging the color scheme for the pack. This thing here is the little cross stitching thing. So that's, that's got your little cross stitching stuff. So it's kind of like if you have the knitting pack, it's kind of like that. And it comes in a few different colors too. So, so this table here, all of these colors, this is kind of interesting. We have a few sort of different designs and stuff like that. I think that they give us a, a decent amount of swatches, uh, considering that we don't have a color wheel we need. We need tons of swatches. So this has fewer swatches, but I mean, it's just kind of like a, a regular, probably outdoor dining table. I really like this actually. I, I've been hoping we get something new in this realm and that's nice having a new bistro table. That's, that's a good one. Nice little uh, clutter item here. Some more clutter items on top of this surface piece here. And ooh, that looks kind of nice. So, same color scheme we've had all along. Just go through quickly. That's kind of nice. I love this stuff. These containers and things. They're so cute. Yay. I'm so happy we have some good clutter items and new artwork. And then this, I guess this is supposed to be a, a stove thingy, but it's so small, isn't it? Like, I guess I should probably put it with the stove. I guess it's, I guess it works, but I don't know. It looks small to me. But it's cute, it's cute. I have been hoping for a, a more color options for stove, stove top things. This gives us a few more range hoods, whatever you call these dang things. Yeah, stove hoods, that's the word. Um, yeah, I've been hoping for some more colors. I feel like we're really limited. This is one of those pieces in the game that we don't have many that were really limited. This gives us some more colors, but stylistically, I like one that's like plain with quite a few different colors. Couple more wall pieces here, which is nice. I, I'm digging that we've got some some new nice decor. I mean, there's there's a lot of good clutter items. Really liking the clutter items and, and the wall items and things like that. New bathroom set, no new toilet, but we have a new tub. And of course for this set, it totally makes sense to have a clawfoot, clawfoot tub. So that's pretty cool. And the new sinks. So we get two new sinks. This guy's so cute too. Oh, I like him in the green. Yeah, that's adorable too. This piece is so cute, isn't it? And this is this is a, a clutter piece here too. So that's pretty cool. And it comes in a myriad of different colors, which is nice. So, and I love this piece. That that just that is such a cool looking piece. What do they call this anyway? Some kind of bench. Forager's Delight Bench. If you're into foragery, you might finish fancy this shelf. Okay. So yeah, I like that piece. And this is a nice piece too. And this also is another clutter, clutter item. So you can see we've got, we've got a decent amount of, of clutter items here. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm digging the clutter, clutter things. I always dig the clutter things. Ooh, this is another clutter item too. And this to me, this is a really useful, useful one, a bucket like this. That's, that's, that's really great. And then this, this is kind of nice. Man, what I wouldn't give for a color wheel because I love so many of these pieces and I and I see them and I'm like, oh yeah, we have good swatches, but like I always want more I, on the swatches. They they have to have to have to have a color wheel in the next Sims have to. So we have the new bed here. So only a double bed this time. No no singles, no bunks or anything like that. But I might as well just run through those options there. We have some rugs. One rug, actually, different options for it. Yeah, this way is probably easier running through. We have a new bar, surprise, surprise, because we don't have enough bars yet. Um, <laughs> I don't actually complain about this though. I, I joke about it, but I don't complain about it. I actually don't mind getting new bars. I like bars, I don't know. I'm a bar person, I guess. And funny thing, I don't really drink very much in real life, but nonetheless, <laughs> I love this mushroom. Isn't this awesome? This is so adorable and it's a chair. So yeah, I love that. It is so cute and it comes in a few different colors. Yeah, I'm totally digging that. 
And then here we get a few of these these garden pieces too, which is cool. So they're under under your your garden patch stuff with the the garden pot and all of that. So you get a couple of different types. A new bench. I like this new bench too. It's got it's got a little uh, a little birdie and stuff on it. I love the colors on this too. This is such a nice rich brown. Loving that rich brown. And I like this one too. So yeah, I, I'm digging that piece a lot. Get some signs over here. I like the the gnome is adorable. That's pretty cute. I haven't looked to see, does it change the gnome at all? Just its color. I didn't know if it was more, more pictures or not. I love that we get a hay bale. I think that this is cool. I kind of wish that they gave us both a square and round. I don't know why they just gave us one. It would have been kind of cool if we got two. Oh, this one does change the pictures. That's cool. I like when they change the pictures and give us some options. You know, I, I, I like this gnome thing, but I kind of wish that it changed more than just the color a little bit, you know, but, and then this one here. So that's adorable. This is cute. So some fitting things if you want to shop or something like that. I love this piece. Oh my God, I love this piece so much. This is so adorable. And then we have a new little planter here too. This one is nice. I like this. I like the colors. I like the look. Yeah, that one's a good one. This is adorable too. Look how cute this is. I love this piece. So cute. Go through a few of the color options very quickly. Yeah, those are adorable. That's adorable. Uh, what else am I missing over here? Oh, here's our chicken coop. So we can see coop capacity is eight. No eggs ready to collect and it's clean because we don't have any chickens yet. I just put the coop out. But yeah, so that's what the coop looks like. So that's pretty cool. Let's take a look and see what other colors it comes in. Actually, I want to get rid of this sign for a second. Let's get this out of our way so we can see. And let's see what colors this comes in. I actually haven't looked at this myself, so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Several different color, color options and we've got some neutrals in there. We've got some darks, nothing that, that's like mostly white. But still pretty cool. So we've got a new pole here, which goes to this. I put the sign back here, but yeah. So we have like our, our festival sign thingy majig and this here gives us a few different options, which is nice. And then this is a little festival car thing. Crumple Bottoms garden, sh garden shop. So no design tool on this. Okay, so that's that's only one color for that and this same thing. No other colors for that. And let's see, does our light give us any more colors here? A few, a few. So that's nice, a nice light. And for those that haven't seen it yet, I will just turn on live mode for a second so we can see our llama. <laughs> I love the way he walks. Oh my God, he's so cute. He's so cute. Hi, Mr. Llama. Oh, and he's scratching himself. Oh my God, he's so adorable. I love him. Absolutely love him. Okay, cute. I love animals. I'm an animal lover, so that's that's a thing. And this, I think, did I go through the colors? I can't remember if I went through them on the other one, but I'll go through them again. I don't think I did. That's a nice one. I like this. I like browns a lot, I think. So, so good. Several color options. I guess this is the one I'd use if I was having a mostly white house. You can see I'm looking for, for like the neutral options, but still, I like it. I like it, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this wall so we can go to the back row and look at the fireplaces and lighting fixtures. So loving this fireplace too. We've got two new fireplaces that I just love and I put out the different light fixtures above them. But yeah, really digging these fireplaces. They look beautiful. And the new light fixtures are cool too. A new piece of artwork here. I put up a few of the options already. So that's pretty cool. I like the, the little animals. Stop moving camera everywhere. I like the little animals. That's adorable. But yeah. This, this is a nice lamp and we get this in, in a few different sizes too. We get that size, we get the size here. So 
they gave us the the different heights which is always good when it comes to stuff like that so that's essentially what what the lamps are is is in the different heights i should have probably put them together but i don't know i didn't even think about it really to be honest with you but i probably should have so everyone could see but yeah so there we go so i think that that covers let's just make sure i haven't missed anything but yeah i think that covers the buy portion of the program and now we go on to the build portion of the program all right so part two build stuff so there was a lot of stuff for roofs so i laid out a bunch of roofs here as we can see i wish this thing would not bounce up and down camera wise but these end roof pieces are super cool these are all separate pieces so each one of these are separate and then you have the the thin singular ones that come in different colors so i don't know i think that they're cool as heck and so these can be used as end pieces on your on your roofs here like that is too so i think they're pretty dang cool those are neat we get two new chimneys so that's neat as well really like the dark one on that that's pretty cool yeah so a couple of new chimneys oh and as you can see we also get a new um a new roof covering which is pretty cool i don't think that they gave us a new or wait a second thatched roof, roof i can't talk thatched roof trim right there so they did i didn't put it down that's my fault i forgot to put it down so we are now going to see a bunch of trim that doesn't match stuff there we go trim that doesn't match but it actually it still it shows the the contrast so you can see it a little bit more and i don't know if any of the other lighting options are better that's afternoon which kind of looks like meh evening night morning morning gives it the the glow so new flooring we have some new flooring that is pretty cool flooring this piece here is a beam roof run of the mill roof support beam and so you can have this sticking out of your your places and have it look like a support beam or have it further in like i have it here so i guess i don't know for decor or whatnot it's it's under the roofing section so uh it it can go in different parts of the the roof so we have a couple of new dormer things which is also pretty neat so nice variety there nice variety here too so not too bad of course i'm telling you i will get in this stuff and i won't be able to find the colors i'm looking for it always looks like there's a decent variety but then when you get to building you find out there's all these limitations stuff you want to do so another new flooring i like this outside flooring like indoor outdoor look flooring but man do i love this this is so cool i am really digging that and then they have like grandma's wallpaper and i i laid out all the way wallpaper so we'll see that stuff in a couple of seconds we get new columns oh i guess i gotta back up we get new columns and a new spandrel as well which is pretty cool we haven't had one of those in a little while but uh this one looks a bit similar to uh, our, one of the other ones that we have but still it's nice it's nice and then the new columns and the columns i will go through the colors real quick so that you can just see the colors so same color scheme as pretty much everything else and now let's back up a row so all right so now we can see some more of the paint stuff some of this repeat so we can probably get rid of that but you can get an, an idea here for some of the paint stuff obviously some floral stuff some more fl formal type floral stuff so yeah that's what the the back color looks like and i'll go through the the light things so that you can see because i don't know i can't get a good look on it oh left that guy hanging there all right so let's get rid of that one and go back here some more color options so they gave us a lot of color options in the floor the floral pattern so that's that then we get new doors and they're all pretty freaking cool i'll be honest with you so this is one of them obviously and here's the different colors and as you can see i have one of the wall coverings in the back as well so here's door number two which i also like i, I very much like the doors 
and we're passing the wall coverings up top as well the different colors and then this door is pretty cute too this door is going to be great for people that want to do in my opinion whimsical and fantasy type builds and stuff like that i feel like this this door lends itself to it what is that doing i don't know it's being sims you know it's doing what it does but okay so those are those doors and wall coverings and now we'll go back here to more doors and wall coverings so this one is pretty as well it's a little bit larger it's a pretty door going it's different wall coverings more door stuff i love this door too this is another door that could really work for fantasy very well but it's so cute i love that door so i'm, I'm digging a lot of the new doors so all right so that is that row and before we go on to that row we are going to quickly look at the last door which i forgot and it's awesome so i i it's terrible that i forgot about it so this is the last door and i couldn't remember if i put this swatch up i think i may have but i didn't talk about it or i didn't make it super visible so i used this swatch to the, the wall swatch so yeah so anyway new door awesome door this one is one of the ones that are it's a larger one i think it requires the at least the second tier height is that right yeah second tier height to use this door but it's a great one i love it I love it, love it, love it. So, and I like that swatch too. I think I may have overlooked that swatch before, but yeah, that's that's a nice wall swatch. The only thing we're missing I, that I, I keep hoping for is that we're gonna get some more tile, but that's a topic for another day. Beautiful door. Now for the final row, I think it's the final row. Oh no, not yet. We still have a ways to go. There's a lot of stuff in this pack. So here's a, all of our stuff that's in the buy section that's our our wall items, our wall hangs and stuff like that. So this is nice. This is a nice plant box, I think. And then of course we have these, these, you know, one thing that they did nice with this is I like that they gave us some different options, some, um, what am I trying to say? Some different sizes and they, they look different enough. So I, I think that that's, that's cool. And you can, of course, if you're using move objects, you can stack this stuff in any way you want as well so and they are um they stick to the wall as you can see and they'll go up and down the wall so there we go there's that then we have these this is adorable the first one i love the first one i think it looks really good and obviously it's it's designed to match the the roof stuff it actually gives more options than the roof covering then we have this little balcony and in good news this style and color scheme is also in stairs and railways and that I thought was pretty cool. Oh, and this one I should probably go through really quick. So that's pretty. I hardly ever use the one we have in game and I always want like an excuse to use it. I never find an excuse to use it, but I think that they're so awesome. So we got a ton of windows. Oh my God, there's so much windowage. Totally digging all the windowage. And yes, I just made that word up. But yeah, there's just, I'm not gonna go through the crazy colors on each of them, but yeah, there's, there's just so many. It's beautiful, it's a wonderful thing. So many different types of windows. I like that they gave us so many different small windows. I think that, that is definitely a cool thing. I, I like this getting some smaller windows, especially since we can stack windows and, and do different things on the wall now. I, I think it's kind of cool to get smaller windows. And let's see if this has, yes. I was hoping it might have some, some different designs. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I love this piece. Oh my God, I love this piece. Okay, weirdly, that might be like one of my favorite pieces in the pack. I didn't go through and look at that before. That That is, I love that. Oh, I love that so much. Okay, good. Yay. So, God, there's so much good stuff. I'm so happy that we get all of these new windows. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. Look at them. They're just, they're, they're neat. They are neat. This is a neat window. This is neat. And I know people that do like castle stuff and like that, stuff like that, they're they're gonna get such good use out of that. All of this stuff, like for people that, that build castles and things like that, or older type houses, and I would like to maybe play with some of that. A lot of this stuff lends well to that. It's it's so cool. 
I am digging this pack a lot. I like these contrasty windows too, it's kind of cool. Ooh, that's nice, that rich brown, I love that. This is such a beautiful window too. I love bay and bow windows in general. I'm kind of like a, a big fan of bay and bow windows. Ooh, they gave me a nice plain white option. That'll be good too. And yeah, so many beautiful windows. So digging all the windowage. Ooh, yeah, the rich browns. I'm loving the rich browns. Did they give us a black anywhere? That's probably closest with the gray. And then we have the white. How did I land on the same one both times? But yeah, so that's all the wall stuff. And the windows, I mean, I'm delighted. The windows and doors, I think, are absolutely beautiful. And some of the paint schemes and all of that stuff too. And then I am so happy about this. They gave us gate fences and gates. They gave us gates that go with the fences. Thank the the gods or the powers that be or whoever. I am so happy to see that. Oh man, I can't even tell you. So we've got a couple of little um, little guys here in, in topiaries, the cow and everything. And this is a little decor piece as well. That's adorable. And then we've got this archway here. Oh, that does come in different colors. Good, good. Yeah, nice. And I'm going to assume this has some, yep, yep, good. This has some different colors. That's good too. I don't think these do. No, topiaries just stay as topiaries. And as we can see on the ground, we have a new ground spray, spray paint stuff for the ground, which is pretty cool. God, I'm so happy about these gates. I can't even tell you. So, oh, that's right. I put the columns out here before I forgot. But yeah, so these are the different fences available. So I love this fence in the back. I love the fence in the back. And I'm so happy they gave us a gate. It's beautiful. And this one here is pretty cool too. I, they're all cool, actually. I love them all. And then here are our stairs. They didn't give us, I don't believe. Okay, let me make sure I got everything. I don't believe oops, up, up, up. that they no no other railings this is the only one that's what I what I thought it was so this is the only one so all right so only in one of these did they give us the the gate the fence and the railing I always want all three like why didn't they give us this in a railing that would be such a cool railing and it would give such a rustic vibe and we don't have anything like that I don't think so but yeah still i like it i like everything we get and i'm hoping that you guys do too if you enjoyed this please don't forget to hit that like button before you leave comment share subscribe all that good stuff and thank you so much for spending the time with me today happy simming and hope to see you all again next time bye now